awards and we have sports men of the year sports woman of the year sports team of the year sports team of the year women federation of the year coach of the year among many others and we have some people who have been nominated and they have made it uh, an example here we have Eliud Kipchoge uh, he's a award record holder as we speak and we have Elijah Manango, we have Consela Skip Ruto, Patrick Matas here uh, from uh, goalkeeper goal Harambe Stars, and then we, ha we have uh, Seven Star William Mbaka, Helen Obiri. These are some of the people who have been nominated, nominated who have made it. Uh, the question I want to ask tonight is these people who have made it to this point, do they deserve it? Salim. Uh. Everyone categorized in that group, I think, is a deserved winner. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you ask me, it's a no-brainer for me because uh, all factors considered, what Eliud Kipchoge did was something out of the of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not disrespect to the other content con contenders, rather. But then again, it's it's sports for you. So that one who has done the greatest of the achievement has got to be crowned at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. for me, if you ask me, if it is up to me, that is what I'm saying. I will give it to Eliud Kipchoge all day, every day, because he he he's only the 15th man in history to, to have broken that record in Berlin. And bearing in mind, if you look at his age and uh, the weather conditions that were there on that very, very day, you, you, you've got to... You've got to be very, very disrespectful not to give him that mm -hmm. that, that award. All right. Uh, Rogers, do you think uh, these people deserve this uh, award? Uh, well, I'll echo what... Uh, if we could use the mic. Sorry. I'll echo what Waziva said, because yeah. uh, in each and every uh, aspect, uh, you always find uh, best performance. Right. And for me, for the Vegas uh, candidates, I believe... Uh, most of them g gave a gave a gave a good account of them, because uh, uh, someone like uh, Matasi was able to guide Kenya uh, to the Afcon 2019. Mm -hmm. I believe also, like I said, Kipchoge was able to break the world record. Uh, same to the likes like uh, Helen Obiri and uh, and the, uh, and in general the mm -hmm. the nominated candidates. So I believe uh, they deserve to be there. Mm -hmm. And as Waziri said, uh, I believe. Um, uh, uh, there's no challenger to to one and only Kipchoge okay. because I believe uh, he will carry the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ian, what's your opinion? Uh, I think uh, the Soya Awards have been uh, the, the guys who win it are mostly from uh, athletics, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, this time round, Eliud Kipchoge has done everything that mm -hmm. that deserves to be done to win the award. Mm -hmm. uh, doing what he did, winning the marathon. Uh, breaking records, setting up uh, new records. I think uh, you have to be very disrespectful, as Salim <laughs> said, <laughs> not to give him the award. But having said that, I think uh, uh -huh. the guys from football who made it to the list, I think it's commendable this time. Uh, mm -hmm. Patrick Matasi did a very commendable job for Arambe Stars. Uh -huh. And actually, the the category Kipchoge is in, the sportsman of the year, is mm -hmm. the only category we are certain about who mm -hmm. will win. But when it comes to Federation of the Year, I think uh, FKF should be given a pat on the back for what it has done uh, in, in 2018. Oh, yeah. Taking Kenya to the AFCON, mm -hmm. uh, you saw the ladies, they, they only missed out on, on AFCON at the last hurdle. Mm -hmm. The coaches training, the referees training, uh, you mm -hmm. know, the under 13 leagues, the centers of excellence. I think FKF has done a lot. Mm -hmm. If you compare it with the past regimes, this right. this one deserves an award. Nick they, came, they, came, they, came, they came very close uh, during the last the last. Awards, mm -hmm. but I think this time round, if they deny FKF, then it will be very, it will be an injustice to them. Uh, it will be an injustice. Now I see a team here, and Robi in team yako. Well, you've made it. What's your feeling? About our nominees, what? But they are the only one who speaks Swahili. Emi just a ukiangalia our nominees, what? Mine is a semayan you cut up at your kipchoge award, Utokoa, Umetu Dangan. The guy deserves it. A big picker should be like a visuri. Apoqua, Kunawale, my day, Mome, nominate you up of the year. Mine, Nafil choose the Rika to an as a pair. 
kwa sababu ya uliona ile match alipiga na huo demo wa Mexico <laughs> ile controversial ile hiyo mimi mimi naona vizuri tu huo demo alitiza mm-hmm. amepiga shughuli hata kiona kazi anafanya mtaani mm-hmm. so what i can say is that let's wait but mimi nataka okay matasi pia amefanya poa mm-hmm. lakini wacha kipchoge tu achukue hiyo matasi tu wako Georgia <laughs> ama ni St George's wacha kuje apige shughuli yake and then naweza taka si unaona sasa tuko 22 na party wale wa 2018 2019 edition hiyo aso ya odds mm-hmm. nataka olie cha kwa <laughs> uh, speaking of olie gormaya gormaya iko kwa list kabisa uh, na una filaji jumsha fika hii level okay ku, ku nominate wa pale si mchezo kama venye unajua mm-hmm. so venye naweza sema sisi tunafaa pia sisi tupatiwe hiyo award kwa sababu man kupiga kuchukua ligi mara moja mbili tatu si rahisi So? Tume, tumechukua ile <laughs> si ndio morali yetu na ndo tuchukue ile ile ile, ile award naweza sema tuna deserve pia sisi alafu pia sijua ma kuna timu ya pipeline pale volleyball ama ime nominate wa pia tusia venye tu hiyo soya ime nominate ime dominate watu wa athletics nini tujaribu tu pia ku diversify kwa sababu ukiona pia football tunakuja athletics pia eh watu wanapiga shughuli so <laughs> wacha ile tu ipige yenye <laughs> poa <laughs> na mimi na Gor Maya pia itanibebe hiyo kitu moja right. hiyo cup two the best thing now salim uh, do you think uh, such kind of awards should be happening and do you think it's a motivation factor to these uh, sports and uh, everything that is involved in soya world yeah speaking from a sportsman perspective hillary there's nothing as good as feeling you appreciated your work is being noted so i think for me as a if you go into the awards and you get something out of it maybe maybe the award itself you will feel like i'm i'm the very best of the best so and they say when you are a number one you never want to become any other number so you'll make sure you fight that hard to remain in that same same position so i think for me it's a moral boost in itself so if you take it home you sleep you sleep very comfortably right yeah i uh, ian uh, do you think it's a motivation factor to players and uh, their teams of course any any award uh, any recognition for that matter is always a motivation and uh, the players back home the younger players back home always play to receive that re- recognition but my concern will probably be the criteria of selecting them and 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 the criteria of of selecting the winner i think that that will set the bar on if really it will be a motivation right. or, to, or it will demoralize those who who are fighting for the award mm-hmm. all right now uh, as you play for Sony Sugar uh, 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 as a player what do you feel what do you feel <laughs> oh, <right>. yes yeah. <laughs> okay uh, okay well on my perspective i believe um, mm-hmm. uh, such like uh, awards are uh, a moral booster to to the players because uh, if you give your best in a whole season because i think uh, in a whole season we got like around 12 months so mm-hmm. when you do your best to give your best within the 12 months right. and you feel you really deserve something mm-hmm. so the so when you get such nominees just getting to be uh, nominated for such a what is a it's a it, it's a motivation factor so it gives you it gives you that edge to at least uh, try and make uh, more efforts even if you're not able to to get the accolade so i believe from my point of view it's a good moral booster and it's a good thing that uh, it, uh, it 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 makes the players to be able to give much yeah to be able to at least uh, if not be, uh, become among the winners but at least to be always to be always be able to be among the best right. yes all right as we finish up with this matter of safari komsoya awards uh robin you are a great fan of uh, football and gormaya mm. and many other players i uh, just a few minutes you just loaded your uh, your new catch for Gormaya. Uh, how do you feel about this Soya Awards yeah, as a fan? What I can say, the founder is, is Paul Tergat. He has been there. He has seen what is going on. Mm-hmm. And by the way, giving these people those awards, it motivates them right. a lot. Mm-hmm. Someone like Matasi, mm-hmm. he feels that I'm okay, I'm there. Even if I take the second position, right. William Baka, mm-hmm. the same. Mm-hmm. So it's a moral booster. And right. I think so many companies corporates should come and just create their own prizes and awards the ceremonies right. like now it's being held in Mombasa mm-hmm. for Jesus it also creates some market for for the guys there tourism so what i can say is that the the award they're so nice mm-hmm. and then let's keep on moving mm-hmm. on the 
the department should just put in the inputs and we develop the spots. All right, I want us to move to a different matter now, uh, the Kenya uh, <laughs> <laughs> Premier League and uh, I, a few matches.